John Taylor returned to Brentwood High School for the first time since he graduated, not to learn, but to share his story with special needs students. My name is John Taylor. I was the first disabled student at Brentwood High. When Taylor first attended BHS in 1994, he took seven mainstream classes. I kind of didn't like it because, oh, he was the first disabled person, and I think I won't be like that. I wanted to be like everybody else. I took my own notes. I studied myself. I had no special treatment, and I felt like I was one of them. John Taylor describes his good experience at Brentwood High. He cheered at all the football games, supported the basketball teams, and attended prom. This hallway brings back memories. Brentwood was one of the greatest times in my life because me, a lot of people, made me more comfortable in society and I feel more comfortable transitioning to college easier. His teachers were welcoming and made a huge impact on his life. He continued school at MTSU and graduated with a mass communications degree. In hopes of inspiring others, John Taylor recently returned to Brentwood High School to talk with the current special needs program. Um, when I was out doing that Q and A, they were, like, they were entertained. They had a lot of questions. I said, don't let disabilities get in the way of what you want to do. Don't let it stop you. We have come a long way, but we still have a long way to go because having disabilities is it fun? No, but it's part of life. And I wish more people would see what disability people go through. John is appreciative for all that he has. Even though his experience at Brentwood High was different from the students today, he's grateful to share his story. Yes, I can't walk. Yes, I can't drive. But I can still talk to you and hang out with people. But I will say, going back to Brentwood today and being in that class, a lot of those students will have a great chance at life the teachers of the special education program at BHS appreciated the opportunity for their students to learn from an experienced alumni. It was such a great opportunity to have John come in and talk to our class and have our class be able to see John as an example of their potential future and what a school experience can be like for them. If they haven't seen a disabled person later in life that has done a lot Maybe, maybe they'll be like, maybe I cannot do this, but I feel like, I hope I can get the message across that if I can do stuff in life, so can they. Berlin. Going through the halls brought back memories for John Taylor. While some things seem the same, others have changed for the better, such as handicap accessible doors, lockers, and wheelchair ramps. He was impacted by the way the special needs students interacted with him, their teachers, and their classmates. Isabella Supinski, WBHS 9 News.